Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these car decals. These are my number one sellers in the stores are my car decals. I have a bunch of video tutorials on this, so go back and check out my other ones. This one is going to be start to finish, how to create this, how to package it, where to get your little uh, decal instructions from. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss this one. You're going to learn from me and you're going to make money off of this one. So stay tuned, guys. Alright, so I'm starting in Design Space and I'm going to go to Upload here and I'm going to grab the image that I'm going to be working with today. So I want to do this specific one here, the skull, I'm going to add to Canvas. I absolutely love making car decals. Um, they are my number one seller that I sell at the stores that I'm in. So if you are interested in making some extra money, I would highly suggest trying to make some car decals because they are going crazy for me. Um, I guess it all depends where you live and where you sell them at but you can also do it on market on the Facebook marketplace um, but I think that's a little bit full of crafters on there right now so your best bet would be looking into um, selling at a craft store or a consignment shop or you know just outright selling to somebody um, I've sold in a few stores where I just completely sold outright where I just sold $500 worth of signs and then they bought them directly from me which was really awesome so talking about this skull really quick, I want to talk about where I got it. So I'm going to pull this up really quick and show you. So this Etsy seller is amazing, very easy to work with, has tons and tons of files. And as you can see, you get all of these for a dollar. So every single one of these, you get them all for a dollar. So I'm going to just talk about it really quick. I'm not affiliated with this. I just really love working with um, really good creators and he's definitely one so as you can see all of these files are for a dollar i've gotten several of them from him already and they're very easy to work with very easy to cut out um, i'm actually looking i see some more that i want to get so i'm going to be doing uh maybe another video tutorial on this i want to do a few different video tutorials for you guys but in case you're interested i will leave the link down below his uh store is atkins productions art and honestly really really great so he was working with me and he said that he would give away do a giveaway for five of these files so all you have to do is go into a store favorite his you got to heart his shop up here and um then leave a comment down below which one would you like why do you like it you know just some sort of comment down below let me though know that you hearted his shop and even if you purchase a few but he's going to be doing five giveaways on my site so you can get one of these I'm gonna do five different giveaways so whoever we're randomly gonna pick um, but just let us know that you hearted this um, page or his store and you can pick one of these so going back I'm gonna show you really quick this is his design I love it I love this creator because he makes it so easy you can see on the side here all of these are different pieces so you can go in and you can change the color if you wanted but I'm just going to leave it just plain old black the only thing I want to do to it is change the size and attach it so with the selected I'm gonna go up here to the size and I'm gonna type in six and I'm not gonna unlock it all I'm gonna do is push the tab button and let it automatically resize for me if I do a six by six it would be really scary and it would not look good at all so I just want this roughly six by five six by four so I love how this looks the only other thing I'm gonna do is actually go down here and push attach if I don't put a push attach all these little pieces would cut out separately and you would have a heck of a time trying to put this together so this is really uh, awesome file I think I'm actually gonna duplicate this a few times um, I'm gonna do maybe a black one a white one and then even a holographic one so I'm gonna duplicate this two more times so with the selected go up to the duplicate button and then once it duplicates I'll just push it one more time and then we'll have three so you can go ahead and change the color to this I'm going to leave one black like I said I'm gonna do one white so go up to color box change it to white whatever color you want you don't have to choose what I'm choosing and then this one I'm gonna do let's say this peaches peach pink color um, just so I know that this is going to be the holographic one when I cut it out 
that was that simple so all I have to do is cut this out and weed it out so I'm gonna push make it and I'm gonna show you which setting I use if you guys like this tutorial give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button leave some comments down below do you like this file do you would you see it on your car I mean I have so many people requesting videos on how to create things I hope this is helping you guys out so here's what it looks like here's the white one the black one and then this peach color one or pink however you want to call it so the only thing you have to do is go to continue and then select which setting you want to use and there are two specific settings that I always use so these are my favorite materials that I always use I use either the stencil vinyl here or the washi sheet here you can go into browse on materials and you can select one of those or use whatever you do when you are cutting this out it might be different than mine so I'm going to be actually using wallet cut adhesive vinyl from heat transfer warehouse I've never used this vinyl before so we're gonna try to see together how it cuts out and how it weeds out so again I'm going to use the stencil vinyl here and then um, I'm gonna cut this out and I'll weed it out and I'll kind of show you and tell you how it weeds out so stay tuned for this I'm really curious and excited to see how this cuts out all right so I finished weeding out my files and they were actually a lot easier to weed than it looked sorry you can't really see this one but this one's actually white on here I'm glad I did the black one so you can see so I'm actually gonna trim the edges a little bit because we don't need this So I'm going to trim the edge just a little bit because this one is a little bit bigger and it's not going to fit in the bag that I normally put it in. And this one I'm just going to trim just the bottom part a little bit and then I'm going to go back in with my paper cutter and make a nice straight cut. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take your transfer tape and put it on here. So I'm going to show you a really quick trick. So I have this transfer tape. I have a huge roll of this. So what I found to be easiest is actually have your transfer tape flipped upside down, which means the sticky side up. This way, you're not trying to find where it's supposed to go on here. You're not getting air bubbles in it, and you're not getting little uh, creases in it like it is down here. So then you're just going to take your file and uh, flip it upside down, and you can... You know, you can go all the way up to the top if you need to to get a nice straight angle, or you can just lay it on here like I am. And I'm just giving myself enough space in between each one so that I can go in later with my cutter and cut them easily. So there, just like that. So again, this is just the sticky side here, so it makes it a little bit easier. And then I'm going to take my scissors and trim off this excess here. And these decals are my number one sellers. They are going like crazy, so that's why I'm doing all different designs. I do have a bunch of videos on creating decals if you're interested in any other ones, like learning how to make your own. Um, I'm showing you start to finish how to create them, how to package them, and hopefully you guys will go out and sell them. You know, like I said, I'm, these are my number one sellers, and I've never done this one before, and I'm really excited to put this one up for sale. So for this one, I'm actually gonna trim around the edges. Normally I would take my paper cutter, but because it's so big, I'm not going to have a bag to put it in. So I'm going to make it nice to look nice for presentation when I'm selling it. And where I sell them is a craft store, but it's also a consignment store. So I'm in three consignment stores right now. And hopefully I'm going to expand this summer um, and reach out to more stores, not just consignment stores. So if you're interested in learning more on how to sell crafts, how to package crafts, how to get started on making your own business, I do have an ebook for sale if you are interested. It's on my website, iCreateCrafts.com. I'll leave the link in the description below for you. So for this top part, I'm actually going to take my paper cutter because I want to have a nice straight edge. So this is just a regular paper cutter. It comes in really, really handy. It's got a sharp edge up here on the other side here, so be very careful. But this comes in so handy rather than taking scissors and trying to figure out what is straight so I can see my file I can show you guys I can see my file I like flipping it upside down because now it's sticky on here so I like flipping it upside down that's not sticky but I'm going to show you guys what it looks like so I'm just taking it setting it in here and then I'm going to get a nice straight cut and you can see on the middle here where I'm going to cut it, there's a little line on it so I can see where I'm actually cutting. 
So I'm not cutting any of my file itself. So there, just do this, move it like this, and then it is done. So now I have a nice straight cut at the top, a little curved at the bottom, so it looks just a little bit nicer when you're gonna go to sell it, but that is it for this one. I'm gonna get rid of my tape here so I can show you the next one really quick. Um, one last thing before I finish this one is you wanna take a scraper and just scrape this transfer tape on really hard so that when you give this or you sell this to somebody, they don't have to do this. Then I like to go ahead and just peel back the top just to make sure that it does actually stick to the transfer tape like it is. And then just take it and scrape it down again. And I'm not sure if this is gonna stick in my bag or not. Maybe, nope, well, we're gonna cut, cut it pretty close. So it did pretty good that I trimmed it like this. So if you do have to trim them, just make sure you're trimming it to make it look nice. You wanna have a nice presentation when you're selling these. So the next part you're gonna wanna do is take a bag. I bought these bags off of Amazon. I love these bags, they're nice, they're heavy duty. It has the plastic at the top that you can peel off and then you can close it. So what I like to do is flip my design upside down so it's showing in the front part. And then I'll show you the tag that I add in here as well. Hopefully this will fit, we'll see. I don't do really this large of decals, so I might have to grab some new bags eventually, but I got these just off of Amazon and I love them. I think they come in like a package of 200 or something, so it's really gonna go a long way. So we'll wiggle this down in here, make it look nice. And then also what I add into this is just a uh, decal application instruction. I found this on Google, it was free, and I just printed it off and then I used my paper cutter again to get nice straight lines. But I printed off, I'll show you really quick, a whole bunch of these because I run out so quickly because like I said, these are my number one sellers so I sell out of these really quick. So the last thing I'm gonna do is take one of these and now I'm putting it at the back side so people can see it. And you can also put your business card in here if you want. You can put the price in here if you want, whatever else you want, but this is how I package it. And then here comes the nice part up at the top here. We got this little tab that peels off just like this. Move this out of the way. And then you can just bring it down and it seals it. So it's nice packaged like this. So there's the front. There's the back with the instructions on it. You can put your price tag on it right here. You could add it to the inside, however you want, but that's how I do it. So I'm gonna show you one more really quick. I'm gonna show you this other one that I did. This one's a little bit smaller, so I can show you how I do this one. So here's the white one. I'm sorry, it's kind of harder to see, um, but I'm actually gonna trim the edges just a little bit just to get some of that extra transfer tape off because we don't want that going onto our cutting board. So I'm just gonna cut this. And then also, like I said, it's very important for pre presentation to show this that it's really nice and that um, it looks nice so people are gonna wanna buy it. So I'm gonna take my cutting board again. I keep calling it a cutting board, it's just a paper cutter. And then I'm gonna take it, put my file in, and then again, I can see where it's gonna cut right here. So I'm just gonna make sure I'm not going over any of my lines or my file on here and then just slide it. So now I have a nice, straight, even cut at the top. Then I'm gonna do the same at the bottom. These really do come in very handy, rather than trying to take a scissors and figure it out. So I'm just gonna do the side, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Just like that. So that is perfect. I think it looks really good. Then you're gonna just wanna take your scraper again, get any bubbles out that may be in here, and then just do the test again to make sure it comes off. So there it is, see, now you can see the white on there, and then fill it back in. So I have two different sizes of these bags. This is what the bag looks like. This is a pack of 200, it's a five by seven. I'll leave this in the description below in case you're interested in it. They really do come in handy, and they were pretty inexpensive. Um, so I'm gonna take this, flip it over so that the front goes with the front so you don't see the back because that's where the tape is going to go so there's the front and then add your decal information with it business card you know whatever you want to put in here and then you just take the top part you pull it off and then you seal it just like that so here that is that part and then you got the nice instructions on the back too so it's just a nice presentation um, like i said this is my number one seller if you're interested in 
learning on how to make your own or do any more. I have tons of videos on how to make car decals. They are great. They don't have to be just car decals. I mean, you can even make a decal and put it on the back of here. Like, let's say you wanted to put your name tag or something on here, or, you know, scissors even, or a laptop, or, you know, whatever. You can put your um, decal on anything, but mine are car decals, and they go, they sell like crazy. So, I hope this video tutorial helped you out. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already, and go to my channel, or go to my website, I Create Crafts, and check out the ebook. You might be interested in it. It gives you a lot of great information. Hope this helps, guys. Happy crafting. Bye.